Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I noticed on uh, the Discord earlier today there's some questions about the UI for um, Substance Painter. So wanted to just kind of do a quick how I'm messing around with it. Let's, let's take a look. So UI currently, uh, what you're seeing here is uh, essentially what it is when you are in default or when you go up to your uh, window and reset UI. Um, but uh, since the 2018 update, they've allowed you to basically like tear everything off and hide a bunch of UI. So like, of course, if you hit tab, you'll, you'll hide all of those terrible windows off. You'll just hide them away. Press tab to just bring them back. Uh, there's a little X here. And then also each window will have a like undock button here, which basically puts it on the side here. And then you can tear it away and scale it pretty pretty nice uh, it takes some getting used to um, but uh, yeah it's I overall the changes I, I'm like a really big fan of so let's go ahead and let's just keep killing all these so you can see these are even nested inside of each other and you can tear these out or you can uh, you'll see where they're gonna go in a preview if you need need this to be the side for some reason you could do that you can like if you go on top of it it'll layer it as a tab so maybe I need the these in here as a tab as well uh, let's go ahead and keep killing these okay so now we're down to this as you kill them you'll notice they show up here um, and while these icons are great and all and maybe you get used to what they are uh, you can actually anywhere like on the sidebars here or over here you can right click and uh, text, at least for me, seems to make a make a difference in like understanding what what you're um, trying to find. So like, if I need layers, I click that, and the layers come in already docked. Uh, if, you, if you right click on the side again, you can also turn the layers off. Let's see what else we need to talk about here. Um, one thing that I've had to get used to. Uh, is properties so when you go to like Windows reset UI so you have your properties here so whenever you're on like a uh, fill layer and you have all of your property settings here uh, like you want all the controls here right you've got your little tabs now like sub tabs inside of a, a main uh, UI element which help you scroll through to I guess subjects easier uh, so fill and material, for example. Uh, but if you close that out, I've always been like, oh, where's the, like, which one is it? Right-clicking, you'll see its properties, but, like, uh, maybe you have to click through these. And you're like, okay, it's this one. No, it's not this one. What is this one, right? So you're like, it's a little confusing. Uh, but what you should know is uh, the right-click menu is the same window. So really, I think you can uh, you can just like let's just kill all these. So you have your you have your model right. Um, right clicking gives you access to that layer. Usually, what I'm how I'm working is I've got layers out here, and then uh, whenever I need to grab a material, uh, I still dock layers on the side here just feels comfortable to me but a lot of the properties and stuff like you actually don't need it here if you can just right click right uh, the shelf for materials I usually put over here and if you click this little folder thing here you can hide that and you can just get this really nice clean clean look for like grabbing materials you can search here pretty quickly uh, and then like let's say now with the functionality of being able to drag directly on the asset should make a fill layer and immediately put that material on. Let's find a more interesting one. Um, so now you've got this material on there, right? And then uh, if you want to do anything to that material, instead of looking for the properties and whatnot, you can just right click, which is really nice. So maybe I need to change the color of this and maybe the roughness isn't where I want it to be. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the the 
bits I wanted to talk about. Uh, I guess I could talk a little bit extra about some other stuff like, um, where is it at here? See, this is where I'm like, oh, I can't find the, so display settings, if you go here, uh, display settings, uh, you can blur your environment, the background, you can completely kill it if you need to. Maybe you need to just be able to focus on your asset. Um, and then the other thing that I suggest doing, so if you right click here, you'll see you've got plugins. Um, if you don't have any plugins for Substance Painter, you can go ahead and just go to like uh, get plugins and that will actually open up this Substance Share and then you've got uh, plugins down here. Click that guy and you will be presented with some nice, uh, some really nice plugins. There's like uh, the ones I suggest getting are the export mask, autosave. Um, this one's really interesting as, as well as this one. So these are the, the material layered shader for Unreal and for Unity already put together for you. You just have to bring them into Unreal or Unity. Uh, and the palette color picker thing for 2018. I like that thing. Anyway, so you right click uh, and you can turn on and off uh, plugins without having to restart just by clicking on them. So export masks, kind of a little weird area here, but clicking that you can export masks of the layers selected. Um, this thing is the material it should be terrible as well. Yeah, so like if you have this out here, you can actually like double click on this and assign colors here to uh, grab later. Really useful uh, for material IDs, for a number of things. Maybe you're doing uh, painted textures, which in 2018, painting textures is actually much faster, way more responsive. Um, like just to give you an idea, like the speed is way better. So good. Almost as good as my painting. Oh, God. Um, but, yeah. So, that's essentially uh, that's essentially it. And if you get kind of crazy, if, if stuff just gets all over the place, like uh, like I saw in the Discord, I'm sure it was a, a joke. Like, I don't know what's happening. Uh, you get all crazy like this, right? Oh, God. I don't even know. How do I even? Anyways, just go here. Window. Reset UI. It'll bring it back to this, and then you can just kind of close these out. And if you want to keep stuff, just hit tab when you don't don't need to see them, and you're good to go. Look at the reset UI did to this thing. Ugh. Ugh. You can just right click, just kill a palette, maybe bring it back. No, it looks like maybe we'll have to uh, exit out in order to fix that one. The joy of plugins. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful. I will uh, check you guys on Monday, I guess. All right, see you guys later.